เป็นเรื่องของสวัสดีที่สุดเด่นในที่สุดที่โฟในที่เกี่ยวกับการเป็นประธานของกลุ่มเพื่อนเพื่อนของเราที่เชื่อที่เชื่อเชื่อนะในที่สุดที่สิ่งสุดที่เริ่มยังสิ่งที่ท้ายเป็นเรื่องที่สุดเป็นชาวโลกที่มีชีวิตอยู่ที่นี่ที่เชื่อที่นั่งสเตย์ในออสเตรเลียมีที่มาจุดที่มีโอกาสที่จะมีชีวิต But he's a man who I admired for more than 30 years. And I tell you, he's the man who inspired me to be in the JC for as long as I have been in the JC. Whenever we meet, we always talk about the JC. Whenever we are together, whenever I do Sandakan and Sabah in the early 80s, oh, well, you're not born yet, I think. The other thing is, we always get together and we talk about Jesus. This is a man who never forgets what the Jesus has done for him, and he never forgets to let the other people know how great an organization Jesus is. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure indeed to ask you to join me and welcome our Chartered President, This is a good Josh Chang. Firstly, I would like to 
to find what are we here for? We are here in convention. And this word is a very interesting word. This word itself means it's actually derived from two Latin root words. One being common, that is together. And the other word, many, meaning come. So here we are. We have actually come together in this room. But are we just here to come together for the fun of it? Indeed. The fun of it is important, absolutely important, because without that, this particular assembly would be boring, it would be dead. We are here to have fun. But not only fun. We are here because we need to formally gather. Gather our thoughts. Review what has happened throughout this year that we've had. And then project forward. What are we going to do in the forthcoming year? This is important. And therefore we have actually come together to discuss to discuss interests, our common interests on the national level. What we, and in this case I'm referring to as the local chapters, what we, the local chapters, can do for the national organization. You see, very often, um, as a national president, I was asked by local organizations, what can the national organization do for us? Well, National organizations can do a lot for you, but you have to make that decision in the first place. And that's why we do. That's why we come. That's why we come to discuss, we come to talk, and hopefully arrive at decisions that would make us better in the future. What? If you don't really think about it. You know, I was sitting back there listening to the whole proceedings and twice was an establishing of voting rights. And I am a little disappointed, and I speak my mind already, I am a little disappointed that all the chapters haven't been given that kind of rights, the number of rights to vote not fulfilled. And you're so glad to hear that I think, I'm, I'm sorry I've forgotten what was the JCI at the back there. They had full membership and they shouted with 1,000 decibel shouting. And that's the way it should be. Enthusiasm. We come here to support the national organization. That is important. And, but having said that, unfortunately, Bob says, that I am a perfectionist to a certain extent, and when it comes to the JCism, I am very much so. Because I really believe in this organization. And so I hope that uh, you can carry this message back towards your local chapters. That in the future, if you have the opportunity of really fulfilling your voting rights, come exercise your voting rights. I sound like a politician in the world, but it's not. I'm talking about Jesus. Exercise your voting rights. But sometimes we come. And the truth of the matter is, you have seen the, the, the agenda being put forward to you. And it's a beautiful agenda. And I'm sure the National Board has actually spent hours and hours and hours to draft a GA sessions, a CGA session that really would benefit the organization. They have actually touched based on every point that needs for this organization to move forward. I hope that you, and I was also so beautifully surprised to find that the agenda was adopted without any debate, which means that you guys fully agree, fully subscribe that here we are now in GA 
and therefore we will communicate, we will discuss, we will vote, and we will bring this organization of ours to a much higher level. That is really fantastic, actually, to learn. And you really worth my 8,000 kilometer flight from Sydney just to listen to that. But sometimes, yes, sometimes we come to conventions not to build up the organization. Sometimes we come with an additional agenda, and that additional agenda is to, to battle, to pull down on someone, to not agree on certain things that have been done. I hope that those who actually come with that in mind think about what is it that they object to. Is it for the good of the organization? If it is not, then we hope that during the discussion, you will be able to find out that, hey, there is another side of the story, as President Alex has said. There is a different viewpoint. Let us listen to all the viewpoints. Here, I'd like to specifically address those new chapters who were just affiliated and who were just given the, the, the rights to vote. Do not be afraid to speak. Do not be afraid to discuss. And this is not applied to just the newly uh, new chapters that have affiliated, but everyone in this room itself. Do not be afraid to discuss. Do not be afraid to voice your opinions, because it is your opinion which counts. Had it not been um, but sometimes, you know, we new members or the newly affiliated chapters think that, oh boy, you know, out there you've got Kuala Lumpur, you've got Taoao, you've got Anang, and you've got Kuching, who are celebrating 50 anniversaries. Who am I? Only five hours old. Is to match my experience in inverted commas against these mighty giants of the organization. My dear friends, you have every right. As long as you are voted into this assembly, you have that right. Exercise that right. And sometimes I have felt that before as a new Jesus. Oh, when I say something, will not be laughed at. Look at the majority out there. All of them think that it should be A. Who am I, a new JC, or even the first time again, to say B? Let me give you the words of a very wise person. And this person in the form of Mark Twain's writing. And it's actually very interesting, this statement. He says, whenever you, whenever you find that you are of the majority, it is time to reflect and pause. Yes, pause and reflect. So this is where the challenge of new JCs come in. Do not be daunted by it. The fact that you are a new JC. Now comes the point that I'd like to stress very, very clearly, and it has happened over and over and over again. And that is during the course of our debates, during the course of our uh, discussion points, sometimes we tend to be, well, extremely sort of motivated to say a lot of things that is not appropriate to say. Such as, 
affected by whatever we feel. Let me let you know that one of the greatest things that I have learned from the JCs is from this um, program that was drafted by JCI, and I'm not very sure whether the man or still exists or not. It's called Communications Dynamics. This is still existing. Any of the trainers here that are doing Communication Dynamics here. Yeah. You never heard of it. That's good. That means that Bob and I are the only two persons who actually know about it. In there, there was an example given. And that example is given for that what we need to do is to feel. Feel for the people that you are speaking to. Feel for your dress. And this particular manual tabulates and shows one great um, it's not great actually, but it's just the, they, they, they used the chorus from a song that was actually um, written by Joe Stuff and popularized by Elvis Presley. Of course, I think none of you would actually know of these people, or would you? Or Elvis Presley, maybe, but certainly not Joe Stuff. Now, that particular song goes to talk about the need to empathize with people, the need to understand why the person is saying what he's saying. Because very often, when we don't understand the person, we seem to think that he has said something which he never said, but which I think he said. I hope I'm making sense then. Because very often, people say something and we react. The song, the words of this song is simply this. Walk a mile in my shoes. Just walk a mile in my shoes. Before you abuse, criticize, and accuse, then walk a mile in my shoes. It is very important. It is so important that if you do not understand that person, then please, no give me first or no her first before you debate. I'll give you a very good question that someone here. And this happened to me after we have retired from Sundan. We came to KL to stay. And being a retiree with nothing to do, my wife and I had to lay back. I still remember that word. So in, 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 in the shopping malls, actually we were doing our daily exercises, walking the floors, not mine or anything. But very often we get a little bit uh, hungry and we like to back to eat. Now, one of my idiosyncrasies is that I love to eat chicken bone. You know, eat the chicken bone, but eat the chicken flesh off bones. And the part of the bones that I think is love are those little tiny ones, the red cage of fried chicken. That's my, you know, real, real hang ups. So one day we, we, we went to, we went past KFC and we ordered our usual two pieces. No chips, nothing, just two pieces. And so we were sitting down, and here I was taking the meat off bit by bit off the chicken bone. I mean, you know how big a chicken meat bone is? And out of the corner of my eye, I saw a couple, a young couple, about to sit down two tables away from me. And the guy then suddenly came over. And he said in a very soft and very ginger voice, Hey, Uncle, we bought too much. Do you think you can help us by taking the chips off us? 
Now, I understand why he said that. Because when we lay back in the malls, we are dressed in stocky shorts, really worn out shoes. And I looked at him, this is where the GC teaching comes in. I looked at him, I could react in two ways. I could say, what the... Uh, right? <laughs> or I could really look upon it as a real compassion that this guy actually saw in me the need, the need to be fed an extra packet of chips because these two old gen these two old guys sitting there are trying to share two pieces of small chicken. Now, what was supposed to my reaction? I had to make an instant decision then. And this is where this old Joe South song came in. And then suddenly realized that, hey, why not take it for the benefit of the doubt that this guy is compassionate, that he is seeing a person in need, and in need I help. And when he did that, I then turned around and looked at his partner sitting in there, waiting to either get an expletive from me or something else from me, and I just say, thank you, God bless you. And you should have seen the faces of these two persons. And on that moment, I suddenly realized, perhaps I have done my GC duty. I have really shown that our creed, that basically the human factor, the, 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 the love of fellowship of humanity was there. And he looked at me and walked away. But up to this day, I have not got the faintest idea whether it was that he was trying to make fun of me or whether he was actually compassionate for me. But does that matter? It didn't. So this is where I'm using that story to highlight to you that in JCs, sometimes when we argue, and I put that in inverted commas, it should be free debate. Think of what the other person is saying. And President Alex wrote in his message in the book, it's very, very true. Listen. Listen with all your heart. And as I said, that particular little song, that particular song that is written in that manual has actually formulated a policy, a philosophy of life for me. And that is never assume. Never assume anything whatsoever. If you need to see, to say that, to, to hear, what George Chen is saying now, ask. Ask. And it has actually given me a philosophy that when I do discussions, it should be based upon clarity of what is needed to be said and not justify it, and not justification. Very often we do that. Very often we ask people to justify your proposal, justify what you say instead of clarify. When we ask people to clarify, people are happy. But when we ask people to justify, then we start building walls of uh, protection around themselves, a defensive wall. So I hope that what I've shared with you is basically a very simple philosophy in my life. But the simpler the philosophy, the more important it is. And I 
I founded Chile in JCs. In all the number of years I've been working with the JCs, that is so critical to be able to communicate, to be able to communicate without creating animosity. President, uh, I was given exactly 20 minutes. Actually, you know, when I saw, this is again a new terminology, I never knew that the word timed agenda means that I was supposed to speak at that particular time. I thought time is an agenda means that there'll be a guy with a timekeeper saying that Josh Chang has got 20 minutes and that's all you can get. Until yesterday, my dear uncle there told me and informed me what time the gender meant. Thanks, Bob. Now, but anyway, my time is up anyway, and I'm sure that you want to get on with your work in making this organization what it should. I'd like to finally share that I hope that whatever I said to you may be old-fashioned, maybe uh, that I'm talking about old times, but let me guarantee you there's never anything old in JCs. The name itself implies that. Junior Chamber of Commerce. Does anyone actually know that they enjoyed the Chamber of Commerce? That the JCs actually came from that? You did? Oh, that's good. So that means that forever you're a member of JCR, you're forever a junior. Isn't that lovely? Especially for guys like me. But whether you're a junior, whether you're a senior, a JC is always and this Jaycism will definitely see you through life. But, but, like anything else, input equals output. Do not expect output when there is no input. So therefore, for the rest of this general assembly, input, my dear friends, show what you can do. And I'm sure that with the kind of zeal, with the kind of passion, with the kind of enthusiasm that I can see around this room, you will succeed. You will bring JC's Malaysia to a much higher level than it has ever been. So, indeed, the theme of this convention is right. Indeed, the theme is correct. The legend continues again.